Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Uh, that was Franklin D. Roosevelt um, talking there at the end of that. Joel Biggs is the chairman of the um, 70th anniversary memorial parade taking place today in Honolulu. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. A date which um, will remain in infamy. Um, I think we're, the word's just about there that we heard. It, it was a critical moment in the Second World War. Explain the significance and, and why it's important to commemorate Pearl Harbor today. Uh, this year is the 70th year anniversary. Uh, we're fortunate to have with us in the parade uh, over 30 survivors, many of whom have not been back to Hawaii since that day 70 years ago. And so we're thrilled to have them back on the island. Uh, people here in Hawaii have welcomed them with open arms. They're very appreciative of the survivors and the military here. They recognize that uh, it's uh, people like this that have preserved our freedoms and the liberties that we enjoy. And you say there will be survivors there today. Clearly, they'll be the important focus of the commemorations. What else are you doing? Well, the important focus of the commemoration is, I guess, twofold. We want to commemorate and remember the past, but we all also want to uh, celebrate the future. I think, uh, you know, there's positive things that have come of this. Uh, not uh, we're going to have survivors in the parade and other military pl platoons who are participating in the event. But we also have a number of youth groups. In fact, uh, we've got marching bands representing states in the United States with the same name as many of those ships that were damaged or sunk at Pearl Harbor. So we have a group from Arizona representing the USS Arizona. We have a group from California, a marching band representing the USS uh, California. We have a group from Pennsylvania representing the USS Pennsylvania and Maryland and so on and so forth. But here's an opportunity for kids from the U.S., what we call the mainland, uh, to make a trip over to Hawaii to learn a little bit about history, mm. uh, to learn a little bit uh, about what happened on that day 70 years ago. And we feel like this will somehow benefit these kids. They'll be reminded that uh, their freedom uh, doesn't come without great sacrifice. And so, in that sense, we're very excited to put on this event. Well, Joel, thank you very much for talking to us about it. Joel Biggs, who's chairman of the 70th Anniversary Memorial Parade in Honolulu, um, looking back 70 years on from the um, Pearl Harbor.